was once a pagan. I once believed in a heathen religion. I was a member of a blood cult. I was a part of the church of the ancient blood cultist, Jesus the so-called Christ. I was a member of his church and I believed. And I worked for him. And I was his servant. Until I realized that that son of a bitch was lying to me as often as he wanted to. Does your God lie to you and then excuse it as not a sin? Because it's not a sin if God does it. Does your God call himself the Prince of Peace, yet teach hatred of one's family? Does your God call himself the Keeper of Love and preach genocide in the name of truth? For Flying Spaghetti Monster preaches no violence. Flying Spaghetti Monster abhors genocide. No brother could ever be murdered in the name of Flying Spaghetti Monster because of how absolutely ridiculous that sentence is. But does your God boast the same? How many jihads has your God started? How many crusades have been enacted in the name of your loving God? How many humans' lives have been ended in the name of progress? For Flying Spaghetti Monster hates violence. No good ever came from death. <laughs> when you believe in these old blood cults, when you believe in these heathen religions, they set up these false ideas in your head. And because our brains were meant to interpret reality, when we add to our our brains are fantasy. Our brain needs to bridge those two ideas. When our brain does that, it creates cognitive dissonance. And this cognitive dissonance always creates anxiety within the person. And it is this anxiety that I can cure for you today. In only four hours, I can remove any old and pagan softwares that may have been installed upon your meat brain. Any old heathen gods that may have been passed down from the blood-soaked Bronze Age that you may still be worshipping. If any member of you is part of a blood cult, the great blood cult of Jesus, the so-called Christ, I can help you remove this software from your brain so that you can start anew and look at the world with fresh eyes. And this cognitive dissonance will be cured and this anxiety will wash away in the name of the flying spaghetti monster. <laughs> if you don't believe in the cognitive dissonance, let's just take a real quick uh, story from the Bible. One of the greatest prophets of all time, of course, Abraham, the father of all the monotheistic religions, the Abrahamic covenant. And let's talk a little bit about his son, Abraham and Isaac. Do you remember this story? Abraham, of course, the greatest father who ever lived, was sleeping one day and he woke up from a dream. And in that dream, his imaginary friend told him to murder his son. And he woke up and he thought to himself, Oh shit, I better do it then. So, he gathered all the things, like his 12-year-old son Isaac, and he was starting to walk away, and Abraham's wife, Sariah, or Sarah, whichever, the mother of Isaac, asked him, Hey! Hey, Abraham! That is my Sarah voice there, that's what she sounded like. Hey, Abraham! And Abraham said, yes. And Sarah said, where are you going with my son, my only son? The son that was promised to me by God after I was barren for decades and decades. That one son that God has given to me, where are you taking him? And Abraham said, well, I'm definitely not going to kill him. Abraham lied to his wife about his murderous intent for his God. Does your God want you to lie for him? Is it even possible that God can ask his children to lie? Who is the father of lies? He is of course Satan. Then why did Abraham's God tell him to lie? Who was Abraham worshipping if he thought that he was allowed to lie in the name of God? For it was not the Flying Spaghetti Monster, for Flying Spaghetti Monster never asked for lies. Flying Spaghetti Monster never asked for violence. Flying Spaghetti Monster never asked 
for separation of people. He never asked for racism or slavery. He does not justify slavery in his name like the great God of the Old Testament does. Back to uh, Abraham, he takes his son Isaac, who's old enough to understand what's going on, and, uh, and Isaac says, where's the animal? Where's the animal that we are about to sacrifice to your blood-lusting God? And Abraham said, don't worry about it, because God will, will provide. That's the truth. That is the truth. You all true? Nothing bad. A bit more, I put, I put a bit more than the whole truth in it.